<laughs> All right. Hey, people, Russ Jensen. So it's about 6 p.m. Sixth day of uh, December 2018, Salt Lake City, Utah. So I left off yesterday talking about being successful and creating a situation where you can be successful every single day. And it's a matter of your mental perception. We set about uh, a task that we want to accomplish by doing that, by taking the activity, doing it on a consistent basis, we can then de uh, make a determination in our own mind that we have been successful because we've achieved what we set out to accomplish. You think about reality here, how everything works, how things grow, plants grow, animals grow, people grow. You go from something small, something larger over time. So it's that time element that people tend to forget about. I think people overestimate what they can do in a month and underestimate what they can do in a year or five years. So the secret to network marketing or being successful in any business is taking the, uh, the appropriate actions, doing them enough times consistently over a sufficient period of time for your activities to produce results. So, and I think what goes hand in hand with that also then is is uh, cultivating and maintaining a proper mindset about what it is that we're doing. The perception that you have in your mind, the image that you portray of being a professional. Now, in this book, Eric Warre's GoPro, Seven Steps to Becoming a Network Marketing Professional, which once again, I'll extend my offer. Anybody wants one, I'll send a copy to you for free because it's a very simple read, but so some fantastic fundamental principles uh, to help you become successful, not only in network marketing, but in all aspects of your life. But he defines in here a definition taken from Wikipedia, definition of professional, person who is paid to undertake a specialized set of tasks or activities and to complete them for a fee. Now, Mr. Warre goes on to provide his own definition of a network marketing professional, which is a person who is an expert at the skills required to build a large and successful network marketing organization. And over the next uh, coming days, weeks, months, we're going to be talking about what those skills are and how we can go about developing them and doing that that development process on what? A activity-based, consistent period of time to become a network marketing professional. But what's most important for you to keep in mind is that that's what you're doing. You're running a business. As a Carrot Bars affiliate, you are your own boss. It's a, a company, a business that you're running, you're developing. And for me, I find it hard for <clears throat> to uh, comprehend the fact that so many people may get involved in these type of uh, opportunities. All the other things that they normally would do or may have done in their own the previous business or professional career kind of go out the window. You're guarding out a company. Let's say you are, you're a heating and a, a air conditioning guy. You're beginning out, you're going out, you're finding clients, you go out the first day, trying to talk to some people, trying to get your foot in the door, trying to land some contracts and business. Okay, if you don't get anything that day or the next day or the second or third or fourth week even, you just give up and quit? No, you don't. You keep working and working, contacting people, talking to people, following up. Just because they don't need a heater right now or air conditioning work done right now, you don't run around and call them, oh, those are just a bunch of uh, people that don't understand. Okay? It's about the mental perception and the way you portray yourself and the opportunity. This is a fantastic opportunity, people. This is a, an opportunity for people to preserve their wealth, to increase their financial uh, security and stability, and do it in a way that's affordable for people. And the uh, situation we have right now with carrot bars, the uh, gold back cryptocurrencies and everything that they're doing are also a way for people to uh, <clears throat> position themselves 
to make a huge leap in the uh, financial strength that they have, the resources that they're going to be having access to. That's why it's so important for us to talk to as many people as we possibly can. But once again, remember, we're a professional we're professional uh, information sharers is really what, what we're doing. We're sharing information. You don't need to be a professional salesperson, and you do not need to be an expert on gold, carrot bars, all their products, all those things. The information that we're sharing with people is the expert. And what we've set up with our organization for our team is on some of our web pages and the information pages that we're uh, making available for people, we have put together a 24-7 call center <clears throat> number that can be accessed by your potential business partners and potential customers to ask questions. And since this is an international business, we don't necessarily know if people are going to be calling at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's very important for people to be able to talk to somebody when they have an interest. So that's what we've established. A 24-7 answered by a live person call center. That begins then the whole process of answering questions, getting people back in touch with the right person in our organization that can answer their questions for them in a timely manner. And it takes the pressure off of you in order to having to be that person, having to answer the phone at 3 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock at night when you're having dinner with your family. Your job is to share information, get people in front of the information, let the information do the work, and let the other experts in the organization do the closing, the sales, all those kinds of things. So that's what we've been trying to do and been, been establishing for the last years, developing this whole system that we can plug our people into so it takes all the pressure off of you. It takes the pressure off of the people that you're inviting into your business also because they have access to the same set of resources. So they don't have to worry about bringing two people to a meeting. They can just get people in front of the information. People can make a phone call or have other people follow up with them in a professional manner. So it's very important <coughs> to keep the proper mindset and also understanding we're farmers, we're planting seeds. I've got people now coming in that are getting involved, that are <coughs> beginning to purchase gold, buy business packages, get involved in the business that um, I talked to over a year ago. Can't just give up, we just have to keep going because if you think about the way that you were brought into the business if you're involving carrot bars, and perhaps maybe you're one of those people that was just in a fortunate situation where you were able to sign up the first time and get involved, get going right when you first heard about the opportunity. A lot of people might be like me. I was introduced to carrot bars. I knew all about gold. Well, I knew a lot of things about gold and silver. <clears throat> I've been accumulating those for a number of years. But it wasn't the right time for me. I had so many other things going on in my other businesses that I just wasn't in a position and I wasn't interested in taking on a new project. But my sponsor, Randy Harris, uh, continued to just share information with me, ask me about it every once in a while, send me some links, and I think really what it was is um, uh, that in combination with the, <coughs> the email, the newsletter I was getting from Mr. McGinty, said I would read occasionally and it kept me interested. And what was going on. And then a few months later, I got in a position where I was more interested and just started looking at it more seriously. But it was still six or eight months after the initial introduction that I was even in a position to even begin thinking about getting involved in carrot bars. And that's a really familiar story for a lot of people. But we need to understand that when we're sharing information with people, if they're not ready right now, we can't just be upset or get discouraged or depressed or um, just want to give up and quit. We have to give people time to assimilate the information, to see how it might fit for them, for them to have an actual need, and beyond that, be in a position to do something about it and to want to uh, you know, either become a, a, a customer or a business partner with us.
Some people get it sooner than others. Some people never get it. But we just continually, constantly talking about it in a low pressure way, introducing people to the information, let the information do the work. And carrot bars is uh, very cutting edge. They're constantly uh, making the improvements, modifications, uh, and doing everything they possibly can to produce the number one best uh, products, gold products, and uh, a, an overall ecosystem. So that's my uh, little conversation for today about become a network marketing professional, become a carrot bars professional, become a, a, a professional at sharing information, getting people in front of the information, let the information do the selling, let it do the convincing, get people then uh, interested, and then let other people in the organization do the expert type selling for you. Your job is to get information in front of as many people as possible and get as many people as possible in front of the information. Simple. Very, very simple. And we have to do that, what, consistently over a sufficient period of time. So we define what our activity level is going to be. If it's three people a day, three new people a day, three days a week, okay, we do that consistently day in and day out, week in, week out, month in, month out. Eventually, you're going to have results. The great thing about it is this system is so easily duplicatable. And that's the power of network marketing. So I'll come back tomorrow and talk a little bit more about network marketing. A little bit, some of the things that we're doing now, to uh, some unique ways to help people be able to share information with other people. We've got our uh, live streaming uh, Facebook coming out of uh, West Africa tomorrow. I'm not really sure how that's going to work because I don't really understand Facebook and all this modern technology. I think it's fantastic. So we may not be able to see it on the success group page, but I'll have it archived there later. Um, I'm going to try to put a link up to uh, Pastor Jackson's page on the success group page. So um, I'm going to show up a little video right here, though, that my son produced. My two sons, actually, Jason and my other son, Stephen, that did all the video work and the editing. It's our little introduction to our uh, uh, group in uh, West Africa that we're beginning to work with. So, love everybody, and I'll talk to you uh, tomorrow.